You know, something that I get told a lot of all the time by people, and we hear it all the time on social media or on YouTube channels, especially in the spiritual egoic world, um, I'll get onto that in a minute, but it's this thing of abundance, you know, that we should be feeling abundant and we should be feeling grateful for things. And I just kind of want to put this out there a little bit, which might annoy a few people, but it kind of is what it is. How do we expect ourselves to feel abundant when oftentimes we have absolutely zero in life? How, does, how are we expected to do that when at school we don't get any education whatsoever on how to control our thoughts or understand our emotions, understand what our feelings are? When our only goal in life, when our only dream that's been set up for us on the life that's been provided for us by the people that lead us, who are heavily influenced by their egoic mind and are often narcissists, how are we expected to feel grateful when we don't have the things that we have been taught that we should have in order to be happy? Wow, that got heavy quickly, didn't it? Um, you can probably tell I'm slightly kind of a little bit irritated today because, you know, I like walking around. Uh, strolling around on Instagram and YouTube and finding different people that I can listen to and stuff like that. And I'm always kind of interested to see other people's opinions and stuff on life. And I just kind of get a bit fed up with people lying, especially in the spiritual world. We'll get onto the spiritual eagle now, ego. Um, or spiritual eagle, it does fly all over the place. But um, that corny joke aside, it's one of these things that's like, Stop lying. If you're putting yourself out there as a spiritual person, then be spiritual as you see it. Spirituality is not about being a certain way. It's just not. This needs to stop. Spirituality is about being the person that you think you need to be. Well, just being who you are. Even the way I said that was probably not very spiritual, but so what, that's spirituality. I keep saying it in a lot of my videos, it doesn't mean we float through life and we have no problems. There's a whole world of problems out there. We do live in the material world, but that doesn't mean we have to reside there permanently, mentally, in the material world. Hence why I always say, get out in nature. That's where we are, that's where we feel the connection. But I was watching a couple of videos last night um, and, and it's like pe the, some of these spiritual people want to pretend that they have all their shit together and they want to pretend that they're really compassionate but a lot of the times these spiritual channels and this isn't an anti-spiritual rant by the way this isn't an, a, you know, a rant at all these other channels there's many of them that are really good and I will actually do a video on the ones that I think are really good I think that would be interesting but what why I kind of um, wanted to get on this topic was because I know that some of you lot are in the place that I was in a couple of years ago, which is in a lot of pain or a lot of frustration or just you're kind of feeling like you want to go forward and do something in life and don't know what to do. You're feeling stuck and this eye's opened up and you've seen the world for what the world is and you kind of want to live in a different world now, but you don't know how to get there. Well, just quickly in a nutshell, by the way, you don't know how to get there because you've not yet found yourself. But once you have found yourself, you, the world will open up and you might find yourself on a path that starts slowly taking you towards where it is that you want to be. But be very careful because that path can lead you into a very freezing cold caravan, um, <laughs> which doesn't become much joy in the moment as you're doing it. <laughs> um, but that aside, I, I know that a lot of you guys are in not in the greatest place. Like I say, you was where I was a couple of years ago. And my videos are often geared towards you guys to try and give you the, if you're grasping at a certain way that you think you need to be in order to either fully embrace your spirituality or find yourself or let go of your old self. I kind of wanted to do these videos to say, well, guess what? That's really hard. And at the times when you feel shitty about that, or you're feeling to yourself like you don't have anything in life, or you're feeling to yourself you don't have what it takes to be spiritual, you're not really that person, that they're normal feelings, that it's okay to feel that. Now, it's not okay to kind of um, like cling on to that and use that as now your identity 
and use it as the reason that you're not going to go forward and find yourself and venture into the areas in life that you'd like to get to. That's not okay. And it's only not okay because it ultimately will hold you back and prevent you from having the life that you would like, which is not spirituality. Spirituality is living free of the, the kind of egoic mind. But like I say, it's hard to get there. It's hard to find that mind. It's hard to find abundance when you feel like you have nothing around you. But that's only because we've been taught to not be abundant. I think this is what I was saying in the beginning of the video. We've been taught not to feel abundant because if we was to feel abundant, we're much, how can I say this? If we was all to feel abundance, we wouldn't all chase after the things that we think we need, i.e. houses and cars and this, that and the other. We wouldn't chase after that as much. We'd chase after, chase is always the wrong word, but I don't know a different word. We would chase after self-improvement, self-development. By that self-improvement and by that self-development, we would ultimately live a much freer life. And on that freer life, we wouldn't find ourselves in as much debt or making as much mistakes as we would make. I think that they know this, so they don't want us to feel abundance because if we feel abundance, we start living a life that's free of us. Whilst we don't feel abundance, guess what we're doing? We're chasing abundance. And we chase the abundance in the material gratification. So we make mistakes like getting great big mortgages, spending out our full monthly budget on a car that we just don't need. You know, we think we need to have some great big lavish holiday once or twice a year or, so, you know, all these things. They're lovely. They're lovely. Nothing wrong with having them. But when you get them, if you're not feeling abundance inside anyway, you're not going to feel it when you have that. Now, it might help with relieving some stress, but it won't help with that feeling of abundance or that feeling of gratefulness, that feeling that you saw me in with a caravan. So imagine that guy, and just on the side, I don't like talking about myself, but let's use that as an example because I feel it's a good one and relevant for the video. Imagine that guy lying there listening to the storm in, in very, very cold, candlelight on, nothing going on, there's no electric, there's nothing, there's nothing there, guys, you've seen the caravan. Now put that guy in a nice, hot, warm climate where... There's a shower, oh God, a shower, a lovely hot shower, a bath. That would be lovely. Don't get me wrong, I do shower, guys, but I go to the gym just to shower in privately would be lovely. Um, but there you go, my reaction to even thinking about a shower. So how would I feel in a nice hot climate when I've got those facilities? Take that guy out of the caravan and put him there. That's, a, that, that can't, that's the feeling that we need to create inside ourselves before we get to the places in life that we think we need to get. Because otherwise, we get to the places that we think we need to get to feel abundance, and when we get there and we don't feel that abundance, we have momentary lapses of feeling less stress. But once we realize we don't feel that abundance, we resort back to how we felt when we were first chasing that feeling of abundance. This is just a con, it's a loop that's put into the system to make us feel like that. And the idea of me always saying get out in nature is that we break away from that loop, we break away from that cycle, we start to really know our inner selves. Consume better food, consume better content, what you're watching. And don't agree with everything I say, that's fine. I'm very, very cold today, I had a freezing cold night in the caravan last night. Sometimes I'm not, sometimes my moods go up and down, that's spirituality. But in, the, in across it all, I kind of like that, always feel kind of blessed just to be here happy to just be here and whatever thoughts and feelings are going on in my head that day are just thoughts and feelings that are going on in my head that day I won't attach to them the situation for me right now is not the best in the world I was actually speaking to a, uh, a very generous coach yesterday who gave me an hour of his time um, you know and we was having a good chat about it yesterday and I said that I don't ever really now get down about anything but that doesn't mean that I don't have moments of feeling down. If I didn't, put it, can you imagine actually? Imagine if I never had a moment of feeling down. How useless would that be? It makes you appreciate more the times when you're feeling up. There has to be the polarities in life. 
you know, like good and evil. If there was no evil, how would we know what good is? We, w we, we wouldn't know what good is if there was no evil. If no one was ever doing wrong, if there was never any wrong in the world, we would never know what the, <laughs> what the right is. You know, it's, that's spirituality, guys. It's seeing the world how you see it in the moment when you're doing it. Like I've said before in other videos, I might walk up the road, go and warm up a little bit. Actually, I've got a coffee here, which I've not drunk yet. Two seconds. It's going to be a little bit cold now, but it's, it's okay. But I might go for a walk up the road in a minute, and I sort of think I might reflect on something I've said in this video and think, oh, okay, I, that's kind of changed. I didn't see it this way around. But guess what? I'll put it in another video. Because spirituality is about being in the now. Being present with who you are. Seeing things for who you are in that moment. And in that moment, you might be clouded with ego. You, all of us have got the same consciousness. It's the same for all of us across the path. But we've all got different downloads. We've all got different levels of egoic chains in us. We've all got different levels of that. Is this a good video? See, even I, I sometimes, you know, it's just how it is. I'm just sitting here and I plugged myself, plugged myself in. I plugged myself in and thought, let's just record. Because I'm in a kind of agitated slash reflective mood. I get a little bit irritated with the spiritual channels and that's why I always like this channel will be the reality of spirituality. Well, if, if spirituality is a thing, it, which it's not, it's just a label. Again, it's just another label. But I guess we need to use words in order for things to make sense. Otherwise, we couldn't just walk around going, you know, that's a thing and that's a thing and that's a thing. We'd never know what we're talking about. So spirituality is just a term to paint the picture. But if that's a label that we could put on someone, then I'm as spiritual as they come. My whole life is about spirituality. Yeah. I'm very comfortable to air the moments when I'm feeling insecure. That's spirituality. It doesn't mean I never feel insecure. It means I'm comfortable with the insecurity and airing that. And that's what I want these videos always to be about. Whatever you're feeling, what, you know, whatever mood you're kind of in for that day, it's okay. It's just a part of the unbrainwashing that you're going through and losing the ego, or that one's leaving and a new ego's coming in via the spiritual side. It can develop a new ego in us, and that can leave us in equally as much frustration and turmoil as the old one leaving. But it's a process. And as that process goes on and on and on, we'll find that that spirit will start noticing our own spiritual ego. I, I know I developed one, so this stuff's never a criticism. I went through a phase where I thought I knew everything in the world and was much more wise than everyone else. And then you start realising, oh, that was a process that I had to go through so that I could develop a spiritual ego, so that I then know what a spiritual ego is. So guess what? I can then share that spiritual ego out to my subscribers who I love. Mm. That was really corny, but it was good though, I think. You know, I, I, I don't know if I'll release this video. I, I sometimes record these things, guys, and I, I am, Sometimes I'm very succinct and to the point on a topic I want to talk about and other times I don't really know what I want to talk about I just know I want to talk about things and this one was about the other spiritual channels I think that and I think it upsets me. Let's get back to what I was saying actually But it upsets me with them because I know you guys are where I was at a couple of years ago And I think some of you might grasp at what these people are saying and you might think you need to be like them or you might have to carry on like them or you're never going to feel like they are. Or even me, guys, even me, you're never going to feel like Toby does. I'm never going to find abundance in a freezing cold garavan. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I wasn't always like that. I wasn't always like that, guys. It's something that takes work. It takes effort. It took a lot of time in nature. It took a lot of breaking down. It took a lot of crying, a lot of time in a tent. A lot of time on my own. A lot of time thinking that this is never going to happen to me because I'm not the guy. I'm not that guy. And then it slowly starts to happen for us. I think, I think we reach a point where we kind of get numb with our own negativity. We get numb with feeling hurt. Or we get done with it, I should say. We get done with feeling hurt. 
and we just kind of don't want to feel anything at one point and I think that's when it I think that's when it it starts to get good is when you don't realize you that what what you're feeling is okay how did I might do another video straight after this one trying to explain how what I mean by that because sometimes I say things and I think we can logically understand it but I don't always I always I don't always feel like maybe I'm being clear enough and that people actually know what I'm saying can logically understand it but don't know it what do I mean by that it's when it says like the way that we're feeling that if, if we're paying attention to the way we're feeling normally a negative a, a feeling so if we're feeling angry jealous hurt down miserable sad we'll hang on to that when we're feeling up happy joy prosperous adventurous abundant we don't cling on to those we don't think oh yeah i'm having a joyful abundant day oh this is awesome let's let me sit and reflect why am i feeling joyful why am i feeling abundant we don't do that but if we're feeling down jealous hurt and angry we, oh, i'm down again here we go just my life always feeling like rubbish we cling on to it and that's what I'm saying, it's, it's that, that part there. It's the knowing that the, whatever that feeling is that's going on with us in that day is, is just what it is, a feeling. The same as on the days when you're feeling good, that period of feeling good will come to an end. So will the days of the feeling bad come to an end if we learn how to not attach to it, if we learn how to let go of it, if we learn how to surrender to life. Just surrender to life. You are life. Guys, you are life. You are the universe's consciousness. You're, the consciousness is the creator, it's the creation. It's, without it, there's nothing. We have that. That's all we need to be abundant. And maybe don't chase to be abundant. Just feel how you're feeling. <laughs> Sometimes my videos, I'm so sorry. I hope these are, are these interesting? I know they're interesting because you guys are subscribing and listening to me and maybe the bigger the channel gets, the more I kind of think, why are people listening to me ramble on and go all around the houses? But you know what that probably is? It's a reflection of how we all are, which is probably why a lot of you like me, because it's, it's real. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, I'm going to pour a nice new hot, cup of coffee um, and then sit here and reflect a little longer I might release uh, do another video after this one I'll leave it there um, I love every single one of you guys thank you so much for all the subscribers and hello especially to all the new subscribers that have come along recently there's been so many of you thank you so much guys uh, I sometimes get a little bit humbled with what with the amount that come along um, but Thank you so much. And of course, as always, to all my old subbies who always show me so much love and have always given me so much support. I hope this was another interesting video for you. I hope you take something from it. I hope it inspired you a little bit or made you feel a little bit more at ease with your spirituality. Your, that's the key word, your spirituality. You don't have to be any certain way. You just need to try and learn how to just be you and being you is who you are underneath the egoic voices, the conditioning that's been conditioned into us for thousands of years. It's not going to be unraveled like that. Um, but you're on the journey to unraveling, so there you go. Anyway, I'm going before I just do another 40 minute video. Right guys, I love every single one of you. It's a very cold day here, however, I've got a lovely hot flask, so I'm going to have that. I'm going to go for a walk into town, get another coffee, uh, and then go for a walk over the park. Right, guys, love you all. Take care and peace.